Good morning and welcome to Berthon on a bright sunny morning. Today we're going to look at Lodson. She's an absolutely lovely example of her type. We're looking at an Aquastar 38. She's quite rare. She is the aft cockpit variant. So she's essentially a two berth boat right up in the bows. She was designed by a very nice chap called Jeff Wilson. She's built by his yard in St. Sampson's in Guernsey, and she's a true semi-displacement blue boat hull. So if we have a look at the hull here, you'll see that it's almost entirely rounded. We have a thumping great keel down the middle to give us lateral stability and also to keep the boat tracking straight. Really simple shaft drive installation, so little maintenance, correct weight distribution, correct grip on the water. We'll just have a quick look around her. So she's stern thrusted, bow thrusted. You can see the little step there to give a little bit more volume into the hull, but this is essentially a fully rounded bilged boat. So through weather, she's never going to plane. She is just going to push water, which means that you will have a comfortable cushioned ride. So looking up at the bows, folds forward, we've got a couple of little spray rails just to keep the spray down, but we have a fairly angled knife-like bow. So plenty of weight in build and incredibly strong. So if we have a look on board her, we have a small bathing platform for ease of access and a central transom gate. Now we can store a dinghy here on snap davits. We also have an aft kedge anchor bathing ladder and life raft stowage. We sold this boat to her present owner, who's used her fairly sparingly on the east coast, but she's now down with us in Limington for sale and ashore. And I have to say she's just as lovely as when we were pleased to sell her the last time. It's a nice aft deck area. I'm standing right on top of a big engine hatch. So this is on a powered hoist with a big ram on it for very, very easy access. And you've got deck lockers all the way around. So you can either use them for seats or you can actually put warps, lines, fenders, power leads and all that stuff on them. So this is just this big hatch going up. As said, it's all on a, a big central stay. There's masses and masses of volume in here. We've got filters for the main fuel tanks, which you can see there over on the starboard side. So tanks are set aft, but it's a really good cruising space for keeping all of your gumph on. She's been cruised extensively in first ownership, so she's certainly been a long, the long way around through Brittany. Uh, she's been up to Paris. I think she's been around about in Holland on their excellent canal system, but as you can see, it's a really beautifully finished and well-presented boat. Teak decked. These are in extremely good condition. I've seen some Aquastars with ropey decks. These are in really nice nick and very good forward gear, all deck mounted, big mooring bollards, good grab rails all around. And she's only in her second ownership from new. First owner took a great deal of time specifying this boat right, and she was always maintained here at Berthon. So you've got a really, really good springboard to set off from. Stainless steel surrounds on all of her cabin windows. Just showing here that she's got deck diversion for holding tank. Nice nav kit. Uh, it's not bang up to date, but it does the job really, really well. And we're just gonna have a look around half cockpit. We've got a large sliding door. That's the switch for the aft deck hatch. And this is the main saloon. So tiny little combing step and we're in. We've got settees, port and star, but they actually fold right away if you need to get engine access. And a whopping great table in the middle with nice leaves that swing out on either side. It's a really, really pleasant environment. It's an extremely nicely built one. Piano hinges are all still good. Very little corrosion anywhere on her. Plenty of stainless steel. And now we'll have a look 
at the completely removable saloon floor. So this comes up in six sections with two small inspection hatches at the forward end, just leaving us the bearers. So we're looking straight down upon a pair of KAMD 300s. These are actually rated at 285 horsepower a side. It's a six cylinder turbocharged and after cooled engine. Just looking at the starboard block here gearbox down there, just a simple water lubricated stuffing gland, turbo there easily visible at the aft end, there's a compressor up at the front so supercharged. Having a look at the gearbox here, all in good nick, centrally located generator set, on the port side we've got a mirror image engine driving over a cruising speed of around about 20 odd knots at fast cruise and the boats are really happy at around about 14 or so. So batteries just located low down at the forward end, battery keys there. Just seeing how accessible the alternator is and starboard engine, raw water, cooling pump. So as you can see, a laminated floor, there's then a soundproofing layer which is backed and then a carpet on top. So very easy maintenance. I haven't taken out the uh, cross bearers but those come out too. She's a really workmanlike boat. So as we go forward we've got Besson's only fully adjustable helm and co-pilot seats. The main helm is set to starboard, the navigation is on the port side. So she's got everything. We've got a Fisher Panda gen set, we've got really good master vault electrical controls. We've got everything, we've got heating on board, demisters, we've got a nice E120 setup. She's got the side power bow and stern thrusters. As said, these adjustable Besson's only seats, so we can adjust using little powered tabs on each one, fore and aft rake, height up and down, all that sort of good stuff. And just looking around the aft end, you can see curtains to each window, EPIRB up on the wall, very, very, very nicely trimmed, deep, dark cherry interior. I think it's, I think it's cherry. Jeff, don't kill me if it's mahogany, but I think it's dark cherry. And this is the rise and fall on these seats. Again, we've got a footrest for them, so for comfortable longer term cruising, it just does not get any better than this. You've got plenty of ventilation. You've got really good sight forward and out at the sides. And just flick things on a bit here. So that's rake on the backrest. And we can also go upwards, downwards, forwards and backwards and all of that stuff. Again, small slave screen there for your nav tech so that the navigator can see what's happening. Overhead hatches to provide ventilation. We've got everything, nice clock and barometer. We've got electronic controls to show information from the engine. We've got loads of built-in redundancy on the nav kit as well. So that's the main screen. She's obviously got radar. And she's got everything that you could need to travel in, in comfort and safety. Big demisters here which are switchable with different fan speeds so you can keep the screens nice and clear in the winter when you perhaps come in and you've got a bit of moisture on your oilies. Big screens, it's a great boat through the water especially upwind, it really punches its way through it. I've had one of these out in the top end of a 7, wind over tide off chai and it's a great, great safe boat to be in. So we go down below to the main deck. Helm is on starboard, so we're looking at the galley which is on the port side. So it's a big U-shaped galley with a nice light bright worktop, built of corium, thumping great sink. All electric cooking on this, so there's no gas on the boat, we don't need any of that stuff. We can either do it connected off the mains or we can do it on our generator set. Really good positive locks here on everything and it's got the upgraded light fittings. All great stuff. So forward cabin. So this is our main accommodation area. Hooded reading lights. So you don't dazzle yourself as you're trying to get off to sleep. Loads of locker space, locker space underneath the berths. Reading lights at the other end. 
lots and lots of opening port lights. And at the moment it's set up as a twin berth, so a, a V berth, so very, very comfortable with huge mattresses, plenty of, plenty of storage underneath here. And you couldn't quite see there, but that is a radiator. So the boat has got proper domestic type radiators. So there's a hot water circuit circulating around those. Access forward, straight through here, and we're into the chain locker. So if you ever get any issues up here, you go, go straight through this trap. There is a, a rubber shield, and then that is the chain. So it's right through there, so really easy to get to. If we shut that, we can see that there is the bow thruster battery, so very short cable run, so you don't lose any power, getting the power from the battery to the thruster motor. We'll shut that, there are, couldn't really see it terribly well there, but there are hanging rails on the sides of that also. The whole lot's beautifully trimmed out. We've got nice overhead hatches, plenty of good quality trim. The boat was an extremely high specification from new, extremely high specification. You can tell it in the way that the boat has been looked after and the way that she survived. So as we move out of this cabin, we've got a carbon monoxide alarm, and again, these really nice light switches. It's very much built for about two people, this boat. So if you're taking a family of 18, it's not gonna work for you. But as you come in here, you've got a really good sized shower to the right. Got a nice loo straight ahead, which is vacuum flush, sea land. Got a heated towel rail, got a nice sink. Again, plenty of light, plenty of ventilation, powered fans, separate control for the heater. More storage back in here, access to anything you need. Really nice shower area. Big hinged door here. Thermostatic controls and decent shower head to give you a good rinsing. As we come back through the galley, just have another quick look there. It's got everything you need. Loads of storage. Pop up here. Just have a quick look around. And that's our main helm again. So this is where you'll be spending most of your day. It's an Aquastar, it's 38 feet, and she's called Lodson.